This Ag Business Update brought to you by American Implement, indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, Ag News. SNS Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas, is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all new, all aluminum Mauer grain trailer with all of the electric options, the easy to load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper pulls, goosenecks, and oil field specialty trailers, along with flat and utility beds for pickups. SNS Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the end. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. Walmart has announced plans to build its first ever fully owned and operated case-ready beef facility in Olathe. The retailer will invest $257 million in the plant, create some 667 new jobs. The 330,000 square foot facility set to break ground sometime this year. Expectations will be fully operational by 2025. Now, once opened, the facility will package and distribute products from Sustainable Beef, LLC. It's a new rancher-owned processing plant currently being built in North Platte, Nebraska. It'll go to Walmart stores across the Midwest. Now, back in August, Walmart announced it would require a minority stake in Sustainable Beef, which is expected to be up and running sometime in late 2024 be processing up to 1,500 head per day and up to 100,000 head per year when fully operational. Now, according to Walmart, the shopping habits of their customers have evolved over recent years and with more seeking greater transparency in the supply chain and a little higher quality offering at affordable prices. So the retailer feels this case-ready facility will increase needed capacity in the beef industry, then allow them to keep up with customer demand. We'll have more in just a moment. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. The cost of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Well, it's that time of the year again, USDA accepting nominations for county committee members. Local election will occur later this year. The county committee members make up an important role in the decisions on how those federal farm programs are administered here and in local areas. All nomination forms for the 2023 election must be postmarked or received by the local farm service agency office by August 1st. Ag producers who participate or cooperate in those USDA programs or reside in the areas that's up for election this year may be nominated for candidacy. Now, nationwide, more than 7,700 dedicated members of the agricultural community serve on an FSA county committee. They are made up of anywhere from three to 11 members serving three-year terms. And according to Oklahoma State University Extension Livestock uh, Market Economist, Dr. Daryl Peel, those recent improvements in the remaining drought regions of the central and southern Great Plains likely 
means that her liquidation is ending. He said, now, wait a minute. Although lingering drought in some areas still a concern, the arrival of El Nino means any additional impacts will be minimal. With this in mind, Peel expects that the January 1, 2024 cowherd level report to be at the low end from which the industry then will rebuild. The first step to stabilizing the cow herd, though, is the reduction of the beef cow slaughter and the lower rate of cull, uh, of cow culling. Now, following the record culling in 2022, beef cow slaughter down 11.5% so far this year. That is a sign that the herd liquidation is slowing down, Peel said. It's also expected to decrease more sharply in the second half of the year. We'll have more in just a moment. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time, and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build, and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical, and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. KBUF Radio has agriculture information for you weekdays beginning at 6. Tony St. James and Agriculture Today. Then we have the KBUF Morning Show from 7 to 11. We talk with newsmakers, lots of information on the markets, weather, and other features to help you make good decisions on the farm and ranch. Follow along on our social media pages, or you can listen to any Western Kansas broadcast station at westernkansasnews.com. I'm Ken Rogers. Thanks for watching.